Okay, so this is a demonstration on how you'll be expected to uh, backboard a patient for the backboarding station for the skills test. Um, I'll probably throw in some extra things just because I have a habit of doing that. I'll try to say for bonus points when I do something like that, so you'll know it's not required, but it's nice if you throw those extra verbalized steps in. All right, so I'm going to start with PPE as my, um, for bonus points as my scene safe. I'm going to have my partner hold C-spine. Please hold the head in a neutral inline position for bonus points. All I really have to say is C-spine. I'm going to check CSMs, so I'm going to check for a pulse. Which finger am I grabbing? Please squeeze my hand, and I'll repeat that in all four extremities. And you can verbalize it just that way. You can say I'll repeat it in all four extremities. My next step is to apply the C-collar. First, I'm going to measure it. For bonus points, I'll verbalize my partner is going to continue holding C-spine. I'm now ready to log roll my patient. Okay, we'll log roll on three. One, two, three. Slide the backboard under the patient. On three, back down. One, two, three. Okay. It's actually lucky enough, I'm pretty close to having the patient right on the middle of the board where it needs to be. I am going to um, slide the patient up about an inch just to get their head just below the hole where it's supposed to be. On three, one, two, three. Okay, straighten up the whole backboard so you can see okay. And again, I can pick up the legs and center those on the backboard, that's just fine. I'm now ready to start securing my patient to the backboard. As promised, I'll use spider straps this time. Okay, so down at the bottom of the spider straps, it goes straight across. That's going to go straight across the lower legs. And at the top, you'll see that the straps sort of make this Y shape. And that's going to go over the shoulders. So I'm going to lay this Y over the shoulders and then take this blue piece that goes through the middle and try to get this straight all the way down the middle of the body. Okay, line up all the straps. And my goal here is to have this blue piece that goes down the middle um, be untwisted and kind of straight and everything. So again, just like with the last straps, we're going to start with the shoulder straps. So this time they're just going to go the same way around the backboard. Velcro in. I'm not really going to worry about getting them too tight yet. I'm just going to get them on the patient. Again, reaching over the patient is just fine. We just don't want to step over them. Okay. So my next, this red strap here is this was just a Y, not an X, so my Y did not cover the rib cage. So my red strap, I'm going to line up with the rib cage. Okay, and then we'll come down and hook this. Again, we're going to come back and tighten all these at the end. So for now, we'll just get them on here. My next strap, I need to slide up. This is going to cover the pelvis. That's going to go straight across the hips, preferably just below the iliac crest, right across the middle of the pelvis. Okay. The next one's going to go right across the femurs. Once again, just putting these on loose, and I'm going to come back and tighten them at the end. Okay. And the last straps are just going to go right across the lower legs. Anywhere across the tibia fibula is just fine. Okay, now that I have all the straps on, I'm going to come back and tighten them. As before, when I do these two top straps, I need my patient to take a breath so I can make sure their, their breathing is not impeded. So, get these unhooked. I'm going to tighten both at one time. Take a deep breath and hold it. Exhale. Okay, take a deep breath and hold that in. Okay, I don't, you can uh, relax. Breathe as normal. Tightening both sides. Alright, 
At that point, I have the patient secured to the backboard, and now I'm ready to secure the head. So I'm going to put the head blocks in place, ask my partner to take C-spine outside of the head blocks. Partner has C-spine. Um, you will verbalize the rest of the station. So I will now tape the patient's head to the backboard. I will pad behind the head. I will pad the voids. I will tape the thumbs together. And I will recheck CSMs in all four extremities. That's it.